Fuck you. Hi, welcome to AWTP. Today, I got a special match for you. It's Jester Dan. We all love watching him get hurt. And a surprise opponent, you guys weren't ready for it. All right, hold on. Without further ado, I don't know why I'm telling you to hold on. Let's bring him out. Here's your surprise opponent. Your phone cracked the last time I was, since the last time I was here? I don't know. Oh, this is something else's phone. All right, here we go. We have not heard this theme quite yet. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Akumu, one of the most decorated superstars in all the Backyard Wrestling Federation's history, a total 12-time world champion with his first dating back to September 2015. This man has a list a mile long of accolades, and now he's an AWTP, and uh, well, Malik here said that Jester's his first opponent, and the last time these two came in contact, Akumu beat him even more insane than he was from the concussion he suffered than he was. Akumu. Akumu hasn't wrestled since Missionary 53 when he was defeated by Malik, and now we await Jester. Like I said, Jester. Oh, coming from this way. Jester went over and defeated Jay Payne last week here in AWTP, and now he sets his sights on Akumu. Again, Akumu, one of the longest tenured superstars in history. That guy's fucking hard. I agree. It's hard as fuck. Now, I have been informed that Akumu apparently has been busting his ass to get in some pretty good shape, so I'm looking yeah, forward to seeing that. Good. Round. Hey, well, and here we go, second time ever these two men meeting. Jester, Akumu. Like I said, last time these two men met, Akumu defeated Jester, but Jester put up a hell of a fight. He did very, very well. Oh, oh, Jester into the springs. Well, this might be short-lived. Jester into the springs. Again, Akumu wrestled his last match at Missionary 53 against Malik. Nice side slam. Akumu, he was dominant. In CWA, PGW, heading to the Springs, HWL, had a nice run in HFW, was RWA world champion. He was, he's been champion everywhere he's gone. But Jester with a nice famouser. And now, with a nice leg sweep there. Akumu, like I said, a 12 time world champion. Jester here in AWTP trying to eye up his first Come world on, Moo. championship. Oh, Jester calling out Moo. Oh my God. That. That was all ribs. Freak accident. A freak accident after a shoulder to the rib. And ladies and gentlemen, look at that smile on Akumu's face. Not being able to hurt someone for 10 and a half months, nearly 11, and now slamming Jester to the mat, already having him on the brink of defeat. Now Samoan drop. Samoan drop. It was so painful that kid felt that that's streaming across the street. That's funny. One, two. Aren't you ref? I am, but you have me trying to talk about the whole thing. Jester now getting to his feet. Again, Akumu. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Akumu does not do well with kidney punches. Suplex. Oh. Oh, my God. That was like a suplex cross body, but to the head. Akumu. Akumu does have a history, might I add, with some pretty nasty head injuries. The gut wrench suplex on in Hellbent comes to mind, which, by the way, was almost like five years ago exactly. Kick to the back of the head. Of course, we also referenced the Diablo kicking him right in the nose, breaking it. He also used to smash his head into brick walls to get ready for matches. And that is a very... Oh. Uh, is this a rope break? It is. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Oh, he got it. Just kind of like 2K refs. I'll start doing the... Jester, of course. Oh. Again, like I said, he went over an impressive, impressive matchup with Jay Payne last week. And now he's looking to take on take down Akumu for the first time. Oh, God, what is it? Do oh it. my god. Ooh. This is the lazier but still One, very, very effective two, version of the Boston four, Crab. Four. Five. Whoa, whoa. He got like a Jester not wanting to let go. Oh. Jester again showing a it's mean streak. I don't bend that way. Jester was very angry at the way things ended for him, and now he's trying to make a statement here, wanting to further himself into the upper echelon of being a top guy. In an AWTP, the roster's filled up knee. Oh, wait, both men took shots. Both men took shots, but Akumu's taken so many more than Jester, he just was able to wave it off. 
Akumu Whoa. now entering his 10th year as an Whoa. active performer. Uh-oh. Soul Crusher early? Already? Already? Oh! Backbreaker. Now, see, that's the move that Jay Payne pulled out in the match with Jester. And, you know, makes you wonder if Akumu's been eyeing on the product Wrong. a little bit longer than just today. Oh, oh, legs. One leg. One leg. Bending, torquing that ankle, nearly making him touch his own ass with his heel. Does that make Akumu a heel? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, knee bar, knee bar, that was nice! A knee bar, a knee bar, a knee bar. Akumu also does have a bit of a history with leg injuries, as was referenced earlier at Endgame, of course. Just, look, pounding and beating on the leg. Jester just going to town, pumbling and destroying the ankle and the leg. Again, this roster looking pretty stacked so far. And again, with Akumu here, it just ups the game. It ups the legitimacy. It ups everything. Well, it's either... But the sleeper hold is one of Akumu's kryptonites. Roped one, two, three, four, five. Let go, let go. Akumu's fading, though. Akumu was fading. That move has beaten Akumu more than probably any move ever. Of course, brought in by Diablo, used by Assault. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I tap out. Shock treatment backbreaker. One of the most ruthless shock treatment backbreakers I've ever seen. And again, Akumu showing that even after nearly 10 years of being an active. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Akumu that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> just destroyed his leg or ribs then the cover one two kick out barely that was nearly the shortest match of AWTP so far nearly just clocking in at around five minutes but Jester able to fight and again Jester's tough That's he tough. proved it fighting through concussions and getting hit by a car and getting dropped on asphalt but again Akumu he's been through everything whoa 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 oh face buster that was about the closest I've ever seen to Drew McIntyre's reverse Alabama slam. I did a what? The reverse Alabama slam. Oh. Jester now. It's not fair, I'm fighting a fucking rock. At least it's not the rock, he'd have been winded by now. Oh! Akuma taking a little time to take his jacket off and nice super kick. And you see, the thing about Jester's super kicks is he puts a lot more into the extension of the knee. Uh, right to the back of the leg. The legs, he, the legs he injured earlier. And the thing is, even if he forgot what leg he hurt, I did. It hurt both. And again, hurting Akumu's legs is about the best thing you can do because then that eliminates the power game. But Akumu right next to the steel, the springs. One, it, his elbow is actually right on it. Oh, it was God. right on the springs. But Akumu kicking out before one, before I even realized that his elbow was indeed on the spring. Nice takedown. Takedown. He's done that multiple times. Oh, natural. It's like, just like Diablo used to do. A lovely natural. Uh, what is that? Like a flipping neck breaker? And now Jester taking a breath. Now Jester catching his breath. Jester has a Kumu down. And, that, and he has a lot in this match. Again. You know, Jester already in a match here while Akumu? Oh, oh no, no. Oh! Ah, um, oh my god! Both men took damage. J Jester sacrificed himself to hurt Akumu's neck. <laughs> that was gonna fuck someone up. But now Jester's starting to get to his feet, but so is Akumu. And Akumu, again, could be the experience, could be a lot of things, but Akumu is the first man to his feet, and now he's mad. His neck's hurting, and Jester's in a bad spot. Akumu eyeing him, eyeing him up. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Soul Crusher, this is the end. Soul Crusher with authority, and the Soul Crusher, and the cover, and the one, and the two, and the kick out. Oh, son of a slut. And a kick out. And a kick out of the Soul Crusher. And Akumu's specialty there.
first broken in when he he beat Scorpion with it in mere minutes of a match, his first match, and still being used. Oh, no, fear. Another specialty, fear. And the thing is, Jester, he might be able to reach the springs, but I don't know if he has enough. That's Soul Crusher. Akuma was smart. He went for, the, he went for fear. And look at how the arms wrapped around the side of the neck. He's forcing it. Look at the wrap. Look at how he's wrapped up. Jester's fading. Jester's fading with the springs, the ropes. Can he, if he turns, if he, oh no, if he turns into the middle of the ring, it's over. No, he's fading. He's fading. He's going to need check. He's fading. Jester's fading. Jester's fading. One, two, One. and three. It's over. Akumu wins his debut match here in AWTP. But what an effort it was by Jester. I ring the bell, but I ain't got nothing to ring it with. Oh, here I got you. Akumu wins this match. AWTP debut and AWTP victory for Akumu. The darkness spreads in AWTP. With Akumu now going up 2-0 and against Jester. Jester fought just like he did. And a handshake. Akumu, if he'd have done that in the last season, he'd have slammed him right to the ground. But this was a little bit different. Jester. This is for fun season. Akumu with a victory here in his debut of AWTP.